I'm going to talk about load sharing or BGP load sharing when multi-home to two ISPs through a single local router. So this is our network diagram. So one, one local router connected to uh, two different ISPs. So in this scenario, load balancing is not an option in a in this scenario, load balancing is not an option in a multi-homed environment. So you can only do load sharing. You cannot do load balancing BGP because BGP selects only a single best path to a destination among the BGP routes that are learned from the different ASUS. The idea is to set a better metric for the routes in the range of 1.0.0.0 to 128.0.0.0 that are learned from ISP A and a better metric for the rest of the routes that are learned from ISP B. The network diagram is an example. Okay, so I actually have you know done the configurations uh, on all the routers and what's happening here to to achieve this uh, you know this kind of setup uh, this is what they have they have done so let me just open my topology here so this is router a yeah router a so Router A is in AS11, and Router B is in AS10, and Router C is in AS12. <clears throat> so from Router A, it's got a ABGP neighbor ships with, of course, with AS10, or with Router B and Router C. You can see it here. This is Router B, and this is Router C. Yeah. So to influence the outbound traffic, because the scenario, I mean, the situation is both both router B and routers B and C are advertising these routes to router A. So from router A. Uh, we are actually creating access lists <coughs> here. So this access, these access list, and it was, and it, it is mentioned here in the in the instruction here. I mean, in the scenario, uh, the idea is is set to the idea is to set a better metric for the routes in the range of this prefixes uh, that are learned from. Okay. So going back, so uh, that's why we have this kind of uh, access list here. So permit from all zeros to this uh, prefix and deny everything else and uh, this is actually uh, we have also created a route map route maps and applied them to the neighbors and I'm gonna look at uh, router I mean updates one because there's two there's two route maps updates one updates dash one and updates uh, dash two updates dash one is applied to router B here and updates dash two is applied to router C. So let me go back to the route maps. So this route map is matching this access list. That's the first. Uh, that's permit ten or first sequence, and the second sequence is match. Uh, this access list here, access list two. So basically, we are permitting 
um, IP addresses or routes from this range to go through or to traverse uh, this link, uh, the link between router B and router A. And the rest, I mean, the other route map is Yeah, uh, the reason why I I see that I say that you know that the route map I mean the the uh, prefix between this range will traverse this link here because we are setting the weight to 100. Yeah, and we can see that here. Let me verify that. So we are learning both routes, this route and this route. And you can see here that this route, I mean this next hop, uh, or this route, you can you can just say this route, this route, I mean route, has a weight of this, but uh, this route has a waste weight of zero so uh, when it comes to weight better is higher is better so that's why when we from router a uh, if we go to and we try to uh, you know uh, get to this route we will traverse this link or this next up yeah and then Oops. That's uh, that's a bit different, or that's the opposite for uh, the routes or prefixes that are not part of this range, because we are actually setting the weight to uh, 100. So, and that's what this uh, route map is about. So permit, so we're not uh, uh, setting the weight for this range, but we are setting it for everything else here. <clears throat> so that's why uh, for this uh, route, we are choosing router C because we apply this route map or yeah, this route map to router C. Router C here, and we apply both route maps inbound because we are uh, uh, influencing outbound traffic. So yeah, you can. As it says in the document, we can verify. Let me just. So here, router this route to get to this route we need to go through router B. Yeah. And to get to this route, we need to go through router C here. And now we can also check the BDP table. So to get to this route, we need to go uh, through router B and to get to this route we need to go through router C yes and there's another way to verify it so we can just do a trace route to uh, that uh, IP address which is that would be this one Yeah, they are both, actually, they are both um, advertising this prefix or route. Can we verify that? Let me just, uh, yeah.
okay yeah this is actually the the one the one on router b let me check here okay router router b router is router i mean router c how about router b oh that's that five that six okay okay <clears throat> it's fine um so going back if we oops if we trace route or trace that this ip address which is the one on router b we will select router b we will choose router b or we will traverse through router b and then if we traverse this i mean trace route to this ip address it will traverse traverse through router c as you can see here so that's how you can uh, do a load sharing between uh, two different isps and that's what this uh, scenario or example is all about so yeah that's all in this video uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one